What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Then let's talk about corruptions in Africa. Yes, corruptions in Africa. Yes, uh, let us talk about Zimbabwe at least for now. Okay, uh, there, there's something going on in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, there's something viral going on in Zimbabwe. Okay, let us get into it. Okay, there is this uh, lady from, uh, from Kenya. Uh, her, her YouTube name is uh, African Tigress. Okay, so she was going to Zimbabwe, okay, to, to visit Zimbabwe because she's a, she's a, a YouTuber. She goes around uh, African countries, okay, doing adventures uh, and um, showing Africa, the world, something like that. Okay, so when she got to uh, Mugabe International Airport, you know, you know, you know, th those travelers, when you get to the airport, go, there's are all kinds of questions, okay? Uh, sometimes they ask you, uh, where are you going? Where are you coming from? Okay, where are you going to stay? What is your purpose of visiting uh, this country? Okay, how long you want to stay? Something like that. So, so I guess uh, this Zimbabweans official at the airport, they were asking this lady from Kenya, uh, African Tigress, many, many questions. Okay, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, this Zimbabwean official, they were even uh, telling the lady from Kenya that, oh, maybe you came here so that you can go to South Africa because there's a lot of people coming through Zimbabwe to go to South Africa. Like, wait a minute. No? I've been in South Africa. Huh? So if South Africa is so developed, I do have an American temporary immigration visa. I can go to U.S. where it's so developed than South Africa. So like, what's going on here? So, so African Tigers and the Zimbabweans officials that were going back and forth, back and forth, okay? And the Zimbabwean, Zimbabweans uh, airport official, they see uh, the African Tigers, the YouTuber, her passport is, is stamped everywhere because, uh, you know, she's, she's, a, she's a YouTuber. She goes around uh, African countries, okay? So, but... <laughs> the reason these uh, Zimbabweans officials, they were going back and forth, okay, uh, it's because maybe they want, okay, finally, uh, they were like, okay, do you have something small, okay? That means that, uh, do you have something small that you can give us? Okay, you can't blame these people, man. You, sometimes you cannot blame these uh, officials, uh, who pe these people working for the governments in Africa, Okay. These people, maybe they don't get paid very well. These people, maybe okay, they're working so hard, you know, but their wage or their wages or their salary is not enough, you know. So they are sitting, oh, they're working so hard all day long, but they still, they can't go nowhere, you know, financially, okay. So sometimes you might say, oh, these people are corrupt, that people are corrupt. But look the look the situation, okay. Look the situation. You know, what makes these people to ask something small from this lady from from Kenya, the African Tigress? What made this Zimbabweans official to think that oh, okay, let us ask her so if, if she can give us something so that we can let her let her, let her in, okay? And that's not good. That's not a good picture. Okay, Zimbabwean officials, those who were there at that day, at that hour, okay, at the uh, 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 Mugabe International Airport, those officials, okay, that's not a good picture for Zimbabwean uh, people and also uh, for Zimbabweans' uh, government. Okay, so whatever they did, okay, asking this uh, lady from uh, Kenya to give them something small. You know, something small like, like okay, 
give us something like give us money so that we can uh, uh, return you favor or so that we can allow you to enter the country okay but unfortunately uh, the lady from Kenya she did not give uh, them anything okay so th now this issue is going so viral and uh, even the uh, uh, Zimbabweans government officials uh, such as uh, uh, Omar Affairs and Minister, Minister of Omar Affairs and also some, some ministers uh, they came up and say okay uh, we apologize uh, apologize to this uh, lady from Kenya uh, African Tigress they send her uh, tweets to apologize and they're gonna take this matter into their hands they're gonna investigate okay uh, this is not acceptable okay especially if you're trying to show the world that okay now Zimbabwe is is back okay so yeah so congratulations congratulations to the uh, uh, Zimbabweans officials they came up so quickly to can to condemn this uh, issue to condemn this act uh, from this uh, immigration officials at the airport Zimbabwe uh, Mugabe uh, International Airport those officials okay so I don't know what will happen but this uh, the the Minister of uh, Foreign Affair Affairs uh, said that they're gonna take this uh, this matter to their hands and they're going to investigate and they're going to see what happened okay so yeah congratulations and let us give applause to uh, Zimbabweans, Zimbabweans officials okay official uh, officials gov uh, government Zimbabweans officials uh, they came so quick and uh, to apologize okay this is this this kind of stuff actually ne needed in Kenya Okay, you can you cannot see this that the official they're gonna come so quick in Kenya so that they, uh, to apologize what happened in, in, in certain certain situation such as uh, corruption because corruption is everywhere in Africa and Kenya if not the second is the first country on corruption okay maybe the first one is nigeria maybe the second one is 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 kenya or well, the kenya is the most corruption in africa okay it's most corruption corruption country in africa if not the second is the first or uh, is the first or the third okay but i'm gonna put this i'm gonna put kenya the second corrupt country in in, in africa okay so sometimes let us not blame these officials you know the way you know maybe the wages is not enough you know if if you pay these people very well and you treat these workers you are government officials workers very well you pay them good you give them uh, allowances you, you know you encouraging them you know you know you, you know you pat them their back you know thank you so much something like that no, this thing will never happen okay this thing will never happen because I think it's because they you know they they, are, they don't get paid enough they don't get enough salary or wages you know they are sitting there uh, they're doing their job all day, all day and night okay at the airport but still they are not get they're not getting uh, paid very well okay so but it's not a good picture no matter what the case is okay it's not a good picture as the uh, special international airports like that okay the, the Zimbabwean officials actually they did fantastic job to come up um, uh, to come out and actually condemn this act and take this matter into their hands and uh, uh, go on to even go further to investigate okay what happened you can as i said you cannot see this kind of stuff in in uh, uh in uh, in kenya you know whereby you can see you can hear or you can see the officials 
comes out and say okay we're gonna we're gonna investigate this issue and we're gonna you know see what happened okay and come out and apologize okay you know this uh, uh this uh, there's another youtuber uh his name is uh, his youtube name is uh, i think sabbatical he was in kenya he's a white man you know he's, he's doing a good job he's, he's, he's a youtuber as well you know uh, whenever he was in kenya and whenever he goes anywhere any places in kenya you know and when he meets the police officers so some police officers in Kenya were asking him something something small you no know? so sometimes sometimes have to, he have to actually bribe them okay or to give them something you know so this is uh, but you know you can see this uh, picture in Kenya you know so you ask this guy a uh, sabbatical guy a youtuber guy american guy in Kenya about the corruption in Kenya okay because yeah uh, because he made this kind of stuff too <clears throat> sorry but this stuff will never go viral because uh wasn't pu published very well like in uh in Zimbabwean and like Zimbabwe okay but right now everybody now they are aiming uh they are they are aiming their eyes to Zimbabwe okay lots of people now they're like, oh, I want to visit Zimbabwe. I want to go to Zimbabwe. I want to visit Zimbabwe because of this uh, African Tigress YouTuber uh, uh, situation. Okay, this viral. Okay, even the Zimb Zimbabweans people, they were so upset that these things happened to their fellow African uh, in in that uh, 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 Mugabe International Airport in Harare, Zimbabwe. So, but anyway, guys, so yes, this is Africa, guys. So, yes, sometimes you wonder, like, I'm, I, I am an African. So, I'm from right here, okay? So, why have, why have to be asked to, you know, to bribe you? Or why you have to delay my uh, stay, my visit, okay, to enter your country, you know? And you see, you see everything right there. On your hands you see I'm a, I'm a youtuber I'm a traveler okay I'm showing uh, Africa to the world something like that and uh, you know but you still you want to delay that person so that you can get something okay in return okay you ask something small okay you see in in Kenya if somebody uh, if a uh, government official ask you something small and in Israeli means kitu kidogo kitu kidogo is like bribing okay you give you bribe that person uh, that or that uh, the government official you bribe you, you bribe that government official so that uh, he or she she can re uh, he or she can return favor to you okay so what about if uh, you know this this is not a good picture to any any country any to any African country okay it's not a good picture okay it's not a good picture especially we Africans okay if you are if you are everything is clear okay if everything is open okay to visit any country in Africa you can visit without any you know any uh, hiccup or problem or anything because everything is right there clear okay you can see you know what's going on in you know so yeah it's it, it's giving a bad picture uh special uh this uh Zimbabwean officials uh at the uh, at the uh, uh Mugabe airport in Zimbabwe what they did it is is actually uh, not a good picture it it portrays a bad picture okay but we are glad that the uh the Zimbabwean uh foreign uh affairs foreign home affairs something like that and other official government officials in Zimbabwe they came out and condemned the act and they you know, and they apologized uh, and uh, yeah that's a good thing okay guys take care bye bye 
let us visit Zimbabwe now. Let us go to Zimbabwe. Please subscribe, put your comments. Bye-bye.